Once everything is set and ready and you've decorated and you've added all your information, it's time for students to do a walkthrough. The first step and probably the easiest is just simply to have the workstations open and each individual student just go to the computer and navigate all the numbers, okay? So I'm just going to, I notice I had this open here. Um, and so they just basically, I'm going to click on three so it's a little quicker and press the E key. So they just navigate and maybe you want to give a handout and have them watch the video and take some notes on it. Uh, this I'll leave up to the different, uh, you know, teachers. I'll leave this way open. And so maybe they go and they read the different things. And so they go to one, they go to two, and they just keep going, okay? So that's the easy workflow. And if you have a station with a headset, as in a, uh, a VR headset, that's really what I would do would be so much cooler. Then how do you get the VR? Once you have it plugged in, it's very easy. All you do is you click VR. Right now it's not set up on, on this computer, but if you have a computer workstation where you've set it up, uh, you just click on it with the headset on and uh, the VR uh, automatically is enabled. So that's the easy way. The next way is to use different media and what I'm going to recommend here is, uh, so maybe you want to start out right here and just click an image. So you click a photo. So I just took a photo. Uh, and maybe if I have a video, for example, like this, I would wait for it to start and I would go back to a uh, video and maybe film this a little bit and be cognizant of the time. So we probably 10 seconds is good enough. Pick the right 10 seconds. Uh, and basically what you're just doing is you're collecting a whole bunch of, so that's my first scene. And I'm going to say this is my second scene. So I'm going to go and I'm just going to use images mostly for now. And I'm going to just keep going. Okay. And maybe I want an image from the top so that people can see. And at the beginning, so I'll take this image and I'll put this one way at the beginning like that. Uh, maybe I want a couple of those at the beginning just to get a sense of this of the town and I'll press that again create image and I will you know I think I'm going to start like that uh, and maybe even one more now you have 10 points so it's really important that the students you know show these and you can combine videos uh, as well like I showed you so now the next step is to go to what's called a presenter mode okay so I'm going to go here and just click on presenter uh, and I'm going to create a presenter. This is a really powerful tool and uh, you can add the different media and I'm going to add it in the order that I thought was best. So just drag it in and then drag it in, drag it in. And I want to make sure I have number one here. I think number one was this one. Number two, one of them's a video. I just can't remember. Uh, and number three, so I'm going to go get the video. How do I get it? I have to go there and I'm going to actually maybe put the video here. And so it's really that easy to use. Click and drop. Um, but one thing that, um, so I'm going to click on this. I just want to show, uh, there's three different ways to view. Okay. So, um, basically I recommend ride. Okay. So what that means is the person can't just walk around, do whatever they want. They're sort of, they, they have to go step one, step two, step three, which is really what we want. And, uh, so when we're ready, we basically click on this and we have our presenter. Okay. And what will happen is let's just go back here for a second. So if I open this and I can just kind of stream this, so it'll go boom, boom, boom. And at each one, and here you'll see the video. Okay. I could, I only left it at 10 seconds, but you can make that longer. Then it goes to the second point. Then it will go to the third, fourth point. Okay. And what's really cool about this is you can export this. Okay. And it'll create an exe file. And basically anybody who opens it can open it on their computer. And so when you're basically done, 
uh, you just basically click start export make sure you send it somewhere that you're familiar with so i'm going to make sure i send it to a place where i have a lot of room because this is going to take up a lot of room and i am going to click so maybe i want to create a folder called uh exports on for t twin motion because it's going to be a bunch of files okay so you want it in something like that so click select folder it'll take a few minutes and i'll show you what it looks like so it's done exporting so i go to the folder and if ever you need to upload this to google drive or something i recommend that you uh, basically zip them uh, and that way people can just unzip it whenever they get to wherever it is they're going but right now I'm just going to open it so you can see exactly what it does. And it's a really cool way to present it in a full, you know, on a projector or whatever, or to email it to a family member, uh, or if you have some kind of uh, fair day or, uh, you know, you could have the walkthroughs with the computers and that works as well. And it's just simpler. And that's usually what I'll do, uh, depending on the scenario. And uh, the, what's amazing is this, it's opening this software called Presenter. And if you have VR, it'll work with VR. So if you email it to your parents and they have a, an Oculus at home and they open Presenter, they'll be able to walk around with the VR. It's unbelievable. But in this case, we're just going to show it through. So basically, basically press the play button and whatever you put down here will, will appear. You can also press this down arrow so that it disappears. Uh, but um, just press the up arrow and I'm just going to press play so you can see. And since we selected uh, the mode where there was not completely free, you can every, at every you can move your head around and you see, uh, and then you see what you see. So it's very guided. That way they they don't waste too much time. So here as well, so you know they can see from there. And then wherever you took your snapshot, they see the video of the real one and of this one compared. So it's a really powerful way. You could take several shots there, and it's going to snap to your. Now remember I asked that you should have 10 information points uh, and it just keeps going and then when it's done it's done and people have gotten a guided walkthrough of your historic site. So I hope you enjoy this lesson. Please uh, leave some comments uh, on the YouTube channel and also um, you know reach out if you're interested in, in or if you have questions uh, and your students really will enjoy this. It's a very powerful tool, um, a very modern way of teaching them, and it's immersive, and it's almost like you're there, uh, which is hard and expensive to do, but this is a way to kind of bridge that gap. All right, so my name is Mark Dubow, and I hope you enjoyed this series. Thank you very much.